It's time where we all scream. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Hope you're all doing well. I got requested several times to react to the 1999 movie, Scream 3. It's the year 2000, ya an idiot. I'm having way too much fun watching this franchise unravel that I couldn't wait to start the next movie. So, here we are. As I've mentioned before, I'm really enjoying how this franchise pokes fun at itself. You know, the whole meta behind it is done very well. It's just too much fun. Like, I honestly never thought that I would be into a horror franchise. But here I am. So yeah, I'm very excited to watch this one as well. I mean, I'm only here for Dewey, really. Dewey is my main man. I can't get enough of him. You just give me more Dewey and we're all good. We're all good. So thank you for the request. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And without further ado, let's get this party started. We Scream 3. Ooh, we're in Hollywood, eh? Number one nationally syndicated talk show to do a cameo on some cheap slasher flick. Cotton, nice to see you again. By the way, you talked to Kathy about that Navy SEAL script? Is he like a full-on big-time hotshot celebrity now? I know your voice. You sound a lot like that guy on TV, Cotton Leary. I do, huh? Oh, yeah. Totally. Oh, my God, I am talking to Cotton Leary. <laughs> Stalker much? You a big 100% uh, Cotton fan? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what the other 10% is for. Why don't you tell me who you are? Now what would your girlfriend say? Who is this What makes you think I have a girlfriend? I know you do. I'm right outside her bathroom door. <gasps> okay, I did not see that coming. <laughs> Damn, that was actually very well done. <laughs> She's got a nice little voice. <gasps> Mother <laughs> It's the damn killer. God, we didn't waste any time, hey? Oh, dude. Oh, don't you dare. Who the f is this? Somebody who killed to know where Sydney Prescott is. Oh, God, he's trying to get information out of him. Still about Sydney. <laughs> of course it's about Sydney. You lay a finger on Christina, and I swear to God, I'll kill you. Wrong answer. I can't get over how quick we went into this. <laughs> Not even five minutes in, and we're already doing the killer. Although, the opening scenes of the other ones were with the killer as well. Yeah, so, like, this is like a normal scream formula, right? You gotta have the murdering death sequence at the beginning. <laughs> Oh my god, go, 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 go. Doesn't matter if you hit any other car, just go. <laughs> oh, is that the name of his show? Is that why the girl said 110% cotton? Oh yeah, that makes sense, considering what he went through and everything. 100% cotton. It's quite catchy. Ugh, of course the phone's out. Cotton, is that you? No, sweetie. Okay, cotton. You know I don't like your stab games. It's not a game, lady. Steve, are you alright? That's not him. Oh my god, that's not Cotton. What are you talking about? Oh god. Oh god, run. Of course it's not him. As if he's gonna enter the house calm after hearing the killer. Oh god. Ah. Yee. Oh god. Don't you dare open that door. I mean... That door doesn't even look like it could barricade him that well. Talk about how much fun it's gonna be to rip your insides out! Open the- Oh, God. Woo! I swear to God, that door must be the cheapest wood ever. <laughs> Mad men of the food. We'll mess around, okay? Bring some of these guys in here. <laughs> He's talking about road rage after he was doing road rage. I bet he had an excuse. I mean, you know, he had to rush to his girlfriend, right? <laughs> God, he's gonna come out now. Ooh, oh God. Oh, watch it there, man. Watch it. Oh yeah, because she's under the impression that that was Cotton. Kill me. What are you talking about? Don't let me, let me kill me. It's not him. Oh. Oh. Oh no. Behind you. Oh God. Ugh. Bye, girl. Poor. Completely unaware. Oh god. Oh my god, don't tell me he dies as well. How the f did you throw him across the other side of the room like that when the cupboard's on top of you? Oh. Ugh. Bye, Cotton. You lose. Oh. 
I had a feeling he was gonna die. It's a shame. I really liked him in the second one, actually. That's quite tragic, actually. Because he got accused of murder, and now he did get murdered. That was a decent opening. I like that one as well. Oh, honey. What are you up to nowadays? I missed you. What is she living out in the middle of nowhere now? Oh yeah, she's got high security and high locks. I mean, she'd be crazy if she didn't have any of those. Hey, it's Laura from Monterey reporting the work you patch me. Sure, thanks Laura. Thank you. Oh, she's helping women out. That's her job now, is it? I love how she's such a good girl. She's gotta be the good girl. You don't have to say my name. No, you don't have to say anything you don't wanna say. Oh, God, I feel for Sydney. I love how this character's personality doesn't really change or anything like that. You know, it, it is just all good, really. She is just pure goodness, right? You gotta have a character like that in the midst of, you know, every other sort of crazy character that there is in this franchise. Have the world hate you because that is the only way that you'll get the story and the fame. Hey, girl. Nice to see you're still relentless. I like your dress. Are you saying that we should be ready to go out and cut each other's throats because that's what you did? Oh. <laughs> Yeah, he got you there. Well, tell me, Miss Weathers, was it worth it? I'm so sorry. Yeah, was it? Oh my god. This is Marie Prescott. This is Sydney Prescott's mother. Oh, why a photo of her? It's warm. <laughs> Poor Sydney. Can't escape death. It's always after her. Oh, f. Oh, we're already up to stab three, are we? <laughs> it's quite poetical, considering this is Scream 3. <laughs> So does that mean we'll be up to stab four when we get to movie four? So if we stop making scary movies, what, uh, all the cycles in the world will retire? Yes. No. Unfortunately, no. You've seen one too many movies, you sick There's no reason to presume that Cotton's death had anything to do with this movie. He was making a movie called Stab. He was stabbed. Good point. Shut the movie production down. I'm my own character. Named Ricky works at the video store. It's in a mosh. Oh, as in Randy from the other movies. <laughs> we are not in any danger. We are not in any danger, says Candy, page 15. <laughs> they got Usher doing Pinter off Broadway. LL Cool J's Shakespeare in the park. Okay, I really can't visualize those things. They did a pretty decent job of the set. I feel like I am in your mind. Well, that would explain my constant headaches. <laughs> I'm sorry that things didn't work out with Brad Pitt, but being single, that's a pretty good fallback. <laughs> <laughs> Brad Pitt. I can't remember the last time I watched a Brad Pitt movie. It'll come to me. Uh, Jennifer, next up you want to do. Do Well, wow, is he working at the movie sets now? Someone's helped me understand the real you, and I've lost him among you and cards. Well, are they not together again? Are you kidding me with this? For f sakes, man. Although, I guess I can understand why they're not together. I mean, Gail is such a complicated character, right? Lost and lonely little girl. <laughs> really getting deep there. The movie needed a technical advisor, someone went through the real experience. Oh, I see. He's playing you? <laughs> what? He's not goofy enough. Oh, do you see a camera? <clears throat> you bought with this purse, didn't you? Look, it's, it's a habit. I, I walk out of the house, I turn it off. <laughs> I love that he knows this so well. <laughs> They'll get back together. Hey, Tony, how's Maury? Mmm, head over heels in love with you. It's as if you don't exist. That's the idea. Psychos can't kill what they can't find. I had a feeling that's where we were going to take Sydney Prescott this time round. But yeah, can you blame her? I mean... I would probably do the same thing, right? I'd try and isolate myself as much as I can after what happened to her. Hello, who are you? Oh, God. Wait, is that Sydney Prescott's mother? Ooh! Oh no, it's gotta be a dream. Oh, for f sakes, honestly. Don't listen to your mother, Sydney. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Oof. Okay. It's a dream. Calm down. Stab three. Jesus, I gotta get a new agent. As in to imply that it's a C-graded franchise? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. I can't deal with things jumping out like that. Those scissors look awful. <laughs> oh, excuse us, Sarah. Makeup test. 
How big are those scissors? My god. My character is too stupid to have a gun in the house after her boyfriend's been cut into fish sticks. She sounds like the Carmen Electra sort of a girl. You know, in Scary Movie, picks the banana instead of the gun. <laughs> oh wait, there was a bomb there as well, right? <laughs> That's her. That's her. <laughs> I mean, look, there's got to be a bimbo in every Scary Movie, right? Hang on, let me get some clothes. See, I don't understand why I have to start the scene in the shower. You got to please every audience, honey. Why am I showering? Why don't we just read the scene? That's why, right there, what you just did. What movie? My movie. And it's called Sarah Gets Cured Like a <laughs> Oh, that's a good surprise. <laughs> I was not expecting that. The killer keeps getting me over here. Ooh. Oh, he's in there. He is so in there. <laughs> oh, God. And he's locked the door as well. Oh, God. I knew he was going to come out from there. I knew it. That was very well done, though. Oh, run, girl. Run. Do the Carmen Electra slow motion. Sorry. Oh, of course they're props. <laughs> of course they're not real knives. Oh, oh. Bye, Carmen. I mean, bye, girl. You did well. Well, I did write the definitive book on the Woodsboro murders. I'm sure you just can't wait to write another one. <laughs> Do we? You said you'd never leave Woodsboro, but now you're here. Not with me. Yes, why aren't you guys together? Tell me. It was Gail. It's always Gail. I think I took care of you. I waited until you were well, and I couldn't stay there. Ah, there we go. Yep. Thought so. I could have been the next Diane so Wait, what's wrong with just being Gail Weathers? I liked her. Mmm. Always putting her career first. You can't tie her down, man. We tried. We're different. You used to say that was our strength. Just get back together. Don't you get it? Someone's killing them in the order they die in the movie. Oh! It's most likely someone that I've already seen, right? We've already been introduced to every character. Joey, who gets killed third? Who gets killed third? Oh! Oh! <laughs> yeah, but they wouldn't go after Gail, would they? The Gail. They'd go after the one that's playing her. Yeah, take her, not the actual one. <laughs> what the f was that? <laughs> I need emotional support right now, and I can't even carry myself. You live here with her? Yeah. Oh. Are they full on seeing one another? Wouldn't that be weird as? An actor playing your ex-girlfriend? She doesn't make her feel safe. She says I'm her rock. Hmm. I bet that's not all you are to her. Three versions. Three different characters die next. And we don't know which one the killer read. Oh, wonderful. Of course. Of course there are three different endings. And it looks like I'm now the next target. Why you? Do you think this wasn't a message? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're definitely next. I did not call Sarah Darling. Sarah Darling said you did. I bet you it's most likely one of the actors. I'm just trying to figure out which one. God, Robin. Remind me my f with him again. <laughs> okay. Because that's how you got the role, right? Oh my god. I've killed someone, Laura. Uh, darling, you're meant to call the police for that. I need to call you. Just you. Why? It's no doubt the killer. Wait, what? It's coming from the home. It's mother, Laura. Now be a good girl and turn on the news. Oh, girl, hang up, hang up, hang up. God, it's freaky how he gets all the voices. How did you get this number? Who is this? You know your mother's voice when you hear it? Oh, God, that's freaky as. Do you think it's over, Sydney? Do you? Oh, thank God. She has a gun. Good. Of course she has a gun. She's gotta have a gun. If you've got high-tech security, you gotta have a gun as well. But she stepped on any poor girl that got in her way. So you asked her out and she said no? That's nothing to do with it. Uh, bull****. Yeah, okay. Sure, sure. You clearly can't handle rejection. She's a narcissistic psycho She's got a good heart, she does. Oh yeah? Still defending her? I reckon they'll get back together. Just like her. God, do I? Make it sound like you're still in love with her. Oh, he so is. I've got no doubt he still is. Left out the part that she's cruel and selfish, obsessive and annoying. <laughs> Why is the killer leaving pictures of a Marine at that point in her life? She completely changed her name, most likely, right? And her identity. Look at the buildings. It's the same. 
Marie Prescott was at the back line at Sunray Studios. Wait, so she worked in the entertainment business? What, was she like an actress or something? Would I call you if it wasn't important? Oh, he's still got a photo of them. I can't believe you said that. That makes me... Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah, go for him. Go for him. I didn't like his character anyways. Whew. Okay. Bye. You're a jerk anyways. Where is everybody? Oh, God. Yes, where is everyone? <laughs> oh, there they are. Oh yeah, because he thought it was Dewey. <laughs> okay. Man, the sheer courage you guys have to go back into that freaking house in the dark just for the script. But like, the script won't assure you guys of like whether you live or die. He can do anything and everything at any time. Oh my god! It's an explosion. <gasps> god, it's a big production here. <laughs> Far out. God damn. Oh my god. Is Dewey okay? <laughs> god, he even went after Gail, not the other one. Oh God! No, not Gail. <gasps> oh. Oh, for f sakes! You're right, Dewey. <laughs> God, jeez, man, that was hectic. Thanks for saving me. Can you guys kiss? Just kiss. Oh, sorry, honey. He doesn't want you anymore. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Don't touch Dewey. Well, it's about time you stood up for your man, Gail. My lawyer liked that. Not as much as I did. <laughs> oh, I'm still a bit suspicious of Roman as well. Can't quite figure it out just yet. Oh, what? Wait, what? I thought Billy and Stu killed her. Didn't they even say that they killed her? They even told Sydney how they did it. You said in your book that Sydney got it wrong once before. Oh, God. Are we going to retcon that? Unless there was more to the story. Is that a threat, Detective? it's a threat, you'll know it. Was that a threat? Aww. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, God, she left the house. <laughs> I'm glad you're alive. What, no punches this time? Damn, I was hoping for another punch or a backhand slap. Do you ever know we're stored in your memory? Phone memory. <laughs> Has anyone else ever used your phone? Just Jennifer and you okay, on the cop here. In this franchise, that doesn't mean anything, darling. Cindy, so was she an actress or a model because they look a lot like publicity stills? I like how the story revolves around her mother this time round. Like, we're getting a little bit more of an insight into her story. Because we barely got anything from the first one, right? Apart from the fact that she was murdered, of course. You gotta get us some flowers and candy, huh? Huh? Give me a break. <laughs> he likes her. Do not! Sorry! Tell my ex-girlfriend, I'll shoot myself. It's Martha Meek's Randy's sister. Oh! Hi, sister. Hope to make a movie someday. Oh! Huh? Hey, Randy. I liked Randy in the first and the second one. He was a fun character. Paul, 15 minutes, I'm leaving my legacy. Leaving your legacy, eh? <laughs> you were dealing with the concluding chapter of a trilogy. Oh, of course. Yeah, this would be counted as a trilogy, right? Stabbing him won't work, shooting him won't work, basically in the third one you gotta cryogenically freeze his head, decapitate him, or blow him up. Huh. Yep. Yeah, agree on that. Keep going. Number two. Anyone including the main character can die. This means you, Sid- You cannot kill Sydney. You cannot kill Sydney! I don't need that. Please do not give me that. I'll see you soon. Cause I will say some of you ain't gonna make it. I didn't. Oh. Bye, Randy. Oh. God. Jeez. Ah, oh, Enough with that I can't deal. I go where you go. That way, if someone wants to kill me, I'll be with you. It's just if anyone wants to kill you, they won't kill me. They'll kill you. Makes sense. None. Yeah, I didn't get that either. But anyways. <laughs> I play you as being much smarter. And as a sane person. 
For you, that must be quite a stretch. <laughs> Don't tell me what to do. She kind of grows on you, hey? Her name is Maureen Prescott. Back then it was probably Roberts. Huh? Oh, no way! Hey, Laurie. How's it going? May she rest in peace. But you look just like her. I've been hearing it all my life. Bianca Burnett. I was up for Princess Leia. So who gets it? The one who with George Lucas. <laughs> Oh my god, that's funny ass. <laughs> so how can I help you? Or you want me to tell you who you look like? How very meta. <laughs> I love how it still has this element to it. It's a lot of fun. Rena Reynolds. Oh, no way. Is that her name back then? So she was an actress beforehand. Stage name. You should talk, Judy Jurgenster. <laughs> <laughs> Lol. Back in what? John Milton. The horror producer? Wait, who was that again? Oh my god. Hi darling, what are you doing in there? Oh my god, I meant you to the time, I knew! I mean, I was. Oh, look at that, she's got the chain from her ex-boyfriend. Oh, it's so cute, she still wears it. Man, he was a hunk. I wanted to make you proud, Sydney. <laughs> That's gotta be so weird for someone to hear that. It's like your whole life is being unraveled through a movie. And it's like, is it even the truth? Oh, man. That's gotta be weird as for her. Oh, God. That's where Tatum died. Ugh. Would you settle for a PG-13 relationship? Holy I remember Creed, the band. I used to love them. Girl, please tell me you brought your gun. Oh, now, what good is a pepper spray, seriously? Oh yeah, that was in the first movie as well, wasn't it? She could do that with the doors. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, f And there goes the pepper spray. Not that it would do her any good. The guy wears a mask. Oh. That's it. Get him. Get him. Oh, God. Ooh, that's like in the first one. He comes out of the closet. Oh, God. Whew, God. Oh, that's right. It's a set. <laughs> oh, that's hectic. <gasps> oh, nice one, Sydney. Yeah, I love how she fights back. Absolutely love it. Uh, no thanks. I lied, Sydney. I can't protect you at all. Wait, is she actually thinking all of this, or is it like coming from a speaker or something? <gasps> oh God! The f oh man! Oh, f you're right there, Sydney. God, I swear that killer has impeccable timing, releasing the speaker at that exact moment when she comes in, and she can hear her mother like that. Great stuff, man. Great timing. He was there in Woodsboro. It's not Woodsboro, Sydney. You know what I mean? <sighs> God, of course they look at her like she's a crazy person. Rena Reynolds? Uh, do you know how many actors have worked for me? Isn't this the guy from Aliens? I recognize his face. You're obsessed with her and you're obsessed with her daughter! Right, easy girl though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, easy there, Gail number two. It was for girls like her to meet men. Men who could get them parts if they made the right impression. Oh, God, of course, yeah. You want to get ahead in Hollywood? You want to play the game or go home. I'm digging the fact that this movie is set in Hollywood. It's a lot of fun. I do love me Hollywood. The place to be. I don't know who my mom was. You know who she wants to you. If I had to take a bet at this point onwards, my bet is on the policeman. Or Roman. Roman, sorry, God, I completely forgot about Roman. I'm wondering if we have two killers again. What's your favorite scary movie? Mine too. Aww. There, there, Sydney. You're in a movie. My girl would be much more aggressive. My girl would suspect everybody. My girl would work- SHUT UP! <laughs> <laughs> Honey, you ain't no Gail. I'm not so sure that's a good it's idea. It's okay, Kincaid's with me. I've got official big time LAPD protection. Mmm. Was that even Sydney? What if that was the killer? Have you ever actually seen the stab movies? Every time this dude enters a room, he ends up a goddamn shish kebab. Mmm. Yes, I agree with this one. It'll be okay. We're gonna stick together. 
AKA, we're gonna die together. Uh, we're gonna stay here and wait for Sid. We'll be right back! No, you won't. Ooh, spooky. Roman is so the killer. He is, isn't he? Oh, God. I thought that was him for a sec. Stop pretending I wasn't the best you've ever had. Stop pretending I even remember. Stop pretending! <laughs> Just stop already. Roman! He's either dead or is the killer. Oh God. Oh my God. Is this what he... Dude, Ooh, he's got our voices. <laughs> oh, that's hectic. Take the gun. Go find Roman and jump around and get the others. Man, you guys should be going together, not alone. Oh God. Oh God, I swear. This house is huge. You could easily get lost in it. Jennifer! Gail! This is a d move, seriously. You do not go down a dark basement alone. Oh! Oh my god. Okay, so he's officially out. He can't be the killer. Okay. I was so sure that it was him. Oh god. Girl, what the hell are you doing down here? <laughs> what the f What happened to that sweet little innocent girl you had going there? Crazy to still be here! <gasps> oh! oh <laughs> Out you go as well. <laughs> so much for not dying, hey darling? <laughs> oh sh Run! <gasps> oh my god! No! Not Dewey! Ooh. Oh, it's hectic as! Oh my god, no! What the? Jeez, this house has so many secret passages. <laughs> oh, far out, man. Ugh, bye mate. Oh god. God, this house is like a maze. Run, Gail. I mean, run. Do you hear something? Oh, no, come on, seriously. How could you not hear her? You can see the mirrors moving as well. Oh. Oh god, quick. Oh my god, too late. She was growing on me, actually. She was a lot of fun. Damn! Where the hell did the killer go then? Was there like another secret passage? Oh man. Ugh. You guys should have left the house. Call up the police elsewhere. Oh my god. God, I swear. If she's not injured from that fall, I don't know what the hell will injure her. Oh god. Oh, wonderful. Don't you think that's what the killer would say? Well, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no, not Dewey. <laughs> Sorry, I really can't help but be protective over Dewey. I really love him. I'm still wondering if it's the policeman. Because who else is there left? There's no one else really, right? Unless it's one of the main cast. If you do one thing to attract attention to yourself, I'll kill them both. Oh, wonderful. It's simple. You show yourself they survive. You run, they die. God, that's a sexy telephone voice. If it wasn't the killer's voice, I would have been all over that thing. Ah. Smart girl. Good on you. But wait, don't you already have a gun? I thought she already had one. Show it to me. Throw it in the pool. Oh, damn it. Look for yourself. Girl, don't go in there. Ah. Ooh. No. Oh, for f sakes, I knew that was gonna happen. Oh, I knew it. I knew she would have the other gun. Yes. Good on you, Sydney. It's your turn to scream, <laughs> Yes. 
Ugh, in your face, hole. <laughs> Where to go, Sydney? Of course he's gone. Of course. Try aiming for the head next time. Oh. Wait, how did he get here? She didn't tell anyone that she was coming here, right? He's so the killer. He's the killer. I said there was a party here tonight. I thought, oh, third celebration. Thought I better check it out. Huh. Where's your partner? Yes. Where is your partner? Oh. <gasps> oh God. Unless they're working together. Oh. Oh. I don't know what to think anymore. You want me, mother? Come and get me. Oh God. Run, Sydney. Run. Oh man, may God help you in this big house. I'm really digging the secret passages in this house. It's pretty cool. It makes this sequence all the more fun. One last time. Oh man, that's creepy as. Remember your mother. Run, girl. It's time you came to terms with me and with mother. Who the f is this guy? Maybe you just can't get past the surface of things. I knew it. I knew it. Of course he was wearing a bulletproof vest. Hey, maybe it's the producer. Our own son. <gasps> what? Weren't you dead? I'm so confused. This guy was dead, wasn't he? Gail Weathers even like felt him up. She was checking for a pulse and she didn't get anything. Oh, jeez, yeah, okay. And brother. Oh, f Half brother? Yeah, okay. She slammed the door in my face and she said I was Rena's child and Rena was dead. Wait, so then who is Roman's father then? Once I supplied the motivation, all the kid needed was a few pointers. <gasps> so he manipulated Billy and Stu this whole time. The director's the director. Oh, yeah, okay. Sydney, the survivor. Sydney, the star. Yeah, you've seen one too many movies as well. The man who gave away your mother's innocence. God, I so thought it was him for a second. I know what happened to my mother and I want you to understand. I'm gonna make you pay. Oh my God, and you're gonna frame her as well. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> oh God, okay, there he goes. Uh-huh, bye mate. God, why don't you stop your whining and get on with it? I've heard this <laughs> Bad. Tell me about it. <laughs> you serial killers have to stop telling your evil plans before it even actually happens. <laughs> yeah, you tell him, Sydney. Now run. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Man, they're both taking the punches. Oh. Oh. Leave Sydney alone, man. Oh, now come on now, seriously? Please, someone for the love of God do something. Oh, God. Oh, there he goes as well. Come on, Dewey. Do something. Do something. Oh, no! Not Sydney. I'm getting fed up seeing her suffer like this. No way. No! Please tell me that's not the end. That can't be the end. If you're telling me this is how it ends, so help me. I will not watch another Scream movie. <laughs> okay, fine, I will. But you cannot kill her. Oh, oh, thank God, okay. All right, good. Phew, she's all good. Or is she? Oh, oh, yes! Go Sydney. <laughs> yeah, get him, get him! Oh, that a girl. That's why I love my Sydney. She's the best. I still got the makeup. Step three, right? Ugh. Oh, bye, brother. So long. It was nice knowing you. Please don't ever come back. Randy said the killer's always superhuman. It wasn't superhuman at all. Oh, I don't know, man. Don't turn your back on it so soon. They always come back. Oh, God. <laughs> This has started to become a tradition, right? <laughs> yeah, I think you should do that from here on. The head! If all else fails. Nah, just aim for the head always. <laughs> God, there's your brother gone, hey? The long lost brother you never had. God, man. Her whole family is Will you sign it for me, kid? You hate that book. Sign it? What the f for? <laughs> oh! 
I did not see that coming. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. Say yes. You gotta say yes. After everything that you guys have been through, it's gotta be a yes. What I'm asking is just to see it for a while. It'll work. It'll work. <laughs> you can somehow make it work. Yes! <laughs> I'm glad that happened. I approve of this. We're gonna start a movie. What kind of movie? You have to come and see. <laughs> Preferably a comedy. Oh. <laughs> nice. I like that ending. Yeah, I like that. Nice one. It's pretty good. I do like it. Okay, okay. Not bad, not bad. I actually really enjoyed that. This movie still has a lot of fun elements. First off, I really liked the Hollywood setting over here this time around. I like how in every movie we've gone to a different sort of a setting. Growing up, I used to love movie magic in Hollywood. So it was a lot of fun to see our characters in this sort of a setting. I always used to love seeing the making of movies, behind the scenes and everything in studios of Hollywood. So placing our characters in this sort of a setting was really fun to watch. I really had a good time watching them in this sort of a setting. Loved that. Another good thing I liked was the story. I liked how the serial killer was Sidney Prescott's half-brother and how that story angle plotted out of him being the one that started all of this in the first place. I thought it was decently told. I think I may have would have liked maybe a little bit more of it to like be elaborated and stuff, but overall I thought it was decent enough. So he was pretty much the reason why Billy and Stu went on to murdering her mother. I didn't see Roman being the killer after I saw him lying dead in the freezer. I was like, wait a minute, how the hell is this possible? Hats down to the writers for making me clueless. Like I, in all honesty, I was really trying to figure it out until the very last second. It was just a bit strange though, because Gail goes down to check up on him when he's supposedly dead and even checks his pulse, but she can't feel it. So that was a bit of a what the f moment for me. But anyways, still well done. I also really loved Parker Posey's character over here. She was a lot of fun. It was really fun seeing the two Gales working together and everything. That, that was fun. And once again, David and Courtney are fantastic over here. I love their chemistry together. I'm so glad I can always look forward to seeing their relationship in these movies. It's always a lot of fun seeing them too. I actually really enjoyed the third act as well in the mansion or the big house, whatever it is. It was a lot of fun seeing our characters running around and everything with the secret compartments and all. Also, the beginning sequence was done very well as well with Cotton's death. I also really liked where they took Sydney in this one. I honestly thought Sydney would be hiding in a shell in the second movie, but it turns out they used that for this movie where she's gone in complete exile mode. Cause it was about time I feel like she should have felt like that in the first place. It's like if you're constantly surrounded by death and serial killers, yeah, no of course you're gonna wanna hide from everyone, right? And hide from the world. So yeah, I'm glad they finally showed that side to her and what she was going through. All in all, I really enjoyed this one. This franchise doesn't look like it's dying down so far. Usually when you get to the third movie, things start to go downhill, right? But not here in my opinion. Like it's no masterpiece, of course, but at least it has something new to offer. Well done, me like. Guys, thank you so much for joining me on this one as well. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts on this movie, what you liked or what you didn't like. If you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe to my channel and I shall see you all next time. Take care.